Good morning, my dear beloved friends in the USA. I'm addressing you with mixed feelings. Feeling of regret because without being able to plan, my health betrayed me and contrary to what I planned, I was condemned to be in the hospital for one week. It was a time of trial, a time of prayer, a time of consideration of importance of human life. Man can plan whatever he wants, but there is superior power who decides what's to be done and what's to be omitted. Although I was very ready and excited to be with all of you in Washington, in Detroit, in Ann Arbor, in Gross Point Memorial Church, in Charlotte, I was so excited. Maybe it was too much exciting that the Lord did not want to me to go. Suddenly I felt a very acute pain and I had to be hospitalized for one week. And now I am under medical supervision until they decide when to do the operation in my bladder. I accepted all of that. I prayed for all of you. You have been ready to welcome me. I don't know, I'm not enough able to express my gratitude and my appreciation for your welcoming and your hospitality. I hope that this trip to see you is only a postponed one for as soon as my health will allow me to travel, I will give sign to Esria, our dear executive director, and we will renew our commitment to come and see you in your place. Here in Israel, the situation is very, very confusing, very alarming. We are very worried because for the first time and openly, the nation is deeply divided with hatred on both sides, the right and the left. <clears throat> and we are worried what the future will hide for us. We need to humble ourselves and to realize that we have to live together. Otherwise, we shall kill each other, God forbids. The war is, is not only around us, it reached also my Elias Education Institution. When I on Monday morning address the 1,000 teenagers in the school, I'm worried what to tell them. And I try to concentrate our effort on making peace among ourselves at the school with the different school students coming from so many different affiliation and religion. We respect each other religion and we want to create a unity within the diversity. So far we succeed because of our directors and our teachers who are very, very aware of the, the possible infiltration of the ongoing hatred among our students. We want to keep the, the school away from any kind of fanatism, of violence, of hatred. This is now the overwhelming tsunami that is overwhelming all over Israel with the new legislation which might cancel democracy and 
introduce Israel into a kind of dictatorship. God forbids. That's bad for everyone. That's bad for us Arabs. That's bad for us Christians. Considering the Christian community in Israel, we are in a very confusing situation. We don't know what to do. We don't know how to act. We don't know how to relate to the ongoing confusing situation in Israel. Christians find themselves very openly as target for fanatism from some Jewish groups and from a new phenomenon of Muslim. Some Muslim boys, there are others, went to schools in Nazareth and threatened the nuns. Unless you become Muslim, we'll come back to you. And that happened several times in several schools. We respect Islam, but we do not want to become Muslim. We want to be faithful to our faith, to our Christianity. We do not want the Jews to become Muslims. We want them to stay Muslims. We want to create unity within diversity. Otherwise, we have no chance to survive, none of us. In the school, we are doing fine, thank God. We are in kind of a protected island from what happens around us. I mean the wave of hatred, the wave of rejection of each other. In the school, we are here from 33,000 villages. We try to create among ourselves the acceptance of the other, the welcoming of the otherness of the other. And thus, we might proceed to hope having peace. Peace cannot be a target in itself. Peace is the fruit of certain kind of relation between human beings. It is based on justice. Justice means not only tolerance in the sense of I tolerate you till I find the final solution to get rid of you, but of acceptance. I accept you. I need you different from me so that you complete myself, you complete my faith, you complete my view on human beings. It is important to have complementarity in our relations in our life. And it is the best place in, in Israel, Palestine, where we could project this unity within the diversity through accepting each other, each other's values, each other's dignity, and through remembering constantly that no matter who we are, Christians, Muslim, Druze, or Jews, Palestinian, or Israeli, we all are born babies on the image and with the likeness of God. And we have to protect that identity, being born babies, on the image of Almighty God. Otherwise, we'll become tribes, we'll become confessions, we'll become groups, we'll become fanatic groups, fighting each other to kill the other. But then afterwards, we all be killed unless we accept to live together. I hope very, very strongly that as soon as I will recover, I will do my best to be in touch with the, the board of directors of the Pilgrims of Berlin, very especially with our executive director, Esria, who became very dear to us since her visit to the school. She left her imprints in the school here. We love her as a sister, as a friend. I will be in touch with her to renew my visit to the States where I can talk to you, where I can feel you, where I can share with you. I wish that you would be able, all of you, to come and stay with us, to come and see the students, to come and see how 2,500 students managed to live together the whole day without any 
violent reaction or appearance. We love each other. We want to stay together. We need each other as from different villages and towns, and we need each other as different citizens of the state of Israel. Otherwise, if we don't respect our common citizenship, we might destroy ourselves. I would like to reiterate for the board of directors of the Palace of Berlin to have the time to come and stay with us. We need you. We need to see you as the beautiful face of America. We never labeled America to be a terrorist nation, although there are so many terror actions around shooting, killing, but we know that America has a beautiful face. The face of groups like you who came and visit us, your face to come and visit us, to stay with us. You will see that our children have been educated to respect and love you. We need you. Come and stay with us, please. Thank you.